What's up, guys? Corey Erdman here in the Fight Network studios, getting you up to date on everything in the world of boxing. And it was a rare, busy Wednesday night in the world of boxing, headlined by a special ESPN2 card from the Barker Hangar in Santa Monica, California. In the main event, Hassan Andam easily outpointed Curtis Stevens in an IBF middleweight eliminator for the mandatory number one contender spot. Stevens never looked comfortable in the role of the aggressor, chasing after his mobile opponent all night long, looking for one big left hook. Showtime has always had the instincts of a counterpuncher, waiting for his opponent to come to him, catching a right hand on his arm and shooting a left hook back. And Endom just never gave him that opportunity. Pecking away from the outside, and save for a handful of scary moments when Stevens did land, had a pretty comfortable evening. The Frenchman now awaits the winner of next week's IBF title fight between Sam Solomon and Jermaine Taylor. Stevens, meanwhile, will have a chance to bounce back on television, thanks to his promoter main events relationship with NBC, so don't write him off as an irrelevant middleweight just yet. The biggest fight of the day, however, happened at the iMobile Football Stadium in Thailand. Neam Trong knockout CP Freshmart thrilled the home crowd and captured the interim WBA minimum weight title in handing Carlos Petrago his first professional loss. This was yet another excellent title fight at 105 pounds, which consistently produces exciting matchups and quite often major upsets as well. Neam Trong looked like he might have a whole lot of trouble with the taller Petrago in the early going as the Nicaraguan used a snappy jab and sharp left hooks to the body. But slowly, Freshmart's pressure started to mount. The geography of the fight started to change, and his right hands began to land before Batrago's hooks could get off. The Thai hero fought through one swollen eye and one bloodied one, and truly turned up the heat in the final two rounds, which likely made the difference in this fight, as scores turned out to be 115-113 across the board. Now, the scores were absolutely fair, but this proved once again how difficult it is to win on the road in Thailand when you're fighting outdoors and you're not prepared to fight in the oppressive heat. Now, that may or may not have played a role in this one, but Freshmart looked fresh in the 12th, and Betrago did not. Now, although minimum weight and straw weight get exactly zero attention in the United States and Canada, this victory is relevant for a number of reasons. For one, Freshmart won a chunk of a world title in just his ninth professional fight. Now, even if titles don't matter to you, consider that he legitimately defeated Ring Magazine's number five rated straw weight in his ninth professional fight, and will get my vote to take his place in those rankings immediately. But this was something even rarer as well. As a Muay Thai fighter, Neam Trong has won all three of Thailand's major titles at mini flyweight, including the national crown. By winning significant titles in both Muay Thai and Western boxing, he follows in the footsteps of legends such as Samart Payakarun, Virapol Saapram, Sangsak Mangsuran, and Sat Chitalata. As a result, one would have to consider Freshmart not just one of the world's best minimum weights, but one of the best overall strikers on planet Earth. Freshmart is now in line to face the winner of the upcoming Hecky Butler, Zhang Zhao Zhang clash, but most would expect a deserved victory lap defense of sorts in Thailand before that one materializes. And lastly, a bit of surprising news as Cruiserweight champion Marco Huck has decided to split from Sauerland promotion when his contract expires in December. Now, Sauerland recently lost its exclusive output deal with German broadcasting giant ARD, which likely prompted Huck to go solo and could push other fighters in that direction as well. Like seemingly every other significant boxer on earth, Huck has now started his own promotional outfit. Huck most recently defeated Mirko Largetti over 12 rounds in August, his 13th defense of his cruiserweight title, equaling Johnny Nelson's record in that category. The 47-year-old Nelson has stated that he would make a return to the ring to face Huck with the cruiserweight title and the title defense record both on the line. However, Huck claims that he has other ideas, suggesting that Sauerland was holding him back from chasing a fight with heavyweight champion Vladimir Klitschko. Many believe that Huck should have scored a heavyweight strap of his own in 2012 when he dropped a very controversial decision to Alexander Povetkin. Klitschko is in an entirely different class than Povetkin, as was displayed when the two finally stepped in the ring with one another, but Huck Klitschko would be a massive event in Germany regardless of how competitive it turned out to be. That's it for today's boxing news. For more of that, please log on to FightNetwork.com and follow us on Twitter at FightNet.